Hello, I'm Jeff. I'm a panel technician at Aerotronics. Today I'm going to show you a method we use to prepare a shielded wire by soldering on a pigtail. First, here's a look at some of the tools I'm going to be using for this job. What I have here is I have a soldering iron, pencil type. It's set at 750 degrees. I have a small tip on it, and I have a tip cleaner. I also have some 25 thousandths rosin core solder and some hand tools. <clears throat> tools for this, I have some wire strippers, some flush cutting of wire cutters. I have a sharpened probe or something like an awl works very well as well. And I have a sharp razor knife. Then over here, you'll see I have some wire that I'm going to be using for doing this demonstration. Okay, if I'm going to put a pigtail on this piece of 22 gauge two conductor, I'm going to start by stripping off the outer jacket. And I have a marker here on my sharpened probe just to make sure that I can get all of my shields, all my solder joints lined up, which makes it look nice. And I'm going to take my razor knife and I'm going to cut around it, being careful not to cut through the shield. Once I have it all loosened up, I like to take some type of a tool and just kind of bend the wire over the edge of that tool and then give it a little scrape. And what that does is it kind of loosens up that Teft cell outer insulation from the shield. Once it gets loosened up, I can grab a hold of it and pull it off pretty easily. Now I have my shield exposed, I can take this shield and I want to simply push it up on the wire so that it bulges out. And what that does is that lets me take my sharpened probe and separate the strands a little bit and work my probe underneath the wire around the shield. And then I can pull the wire out through the shield. This little piece of paper, I'm just going to tear it off. Now I can take the shield strands and I'm going to twist them together just so they don't come apart. And I'm going to trim them off. Length here isn't too critical, but I'm going to say about three-eighths of an inch. Okay, now I'm going to take this piece of 22 gauge black in this case, and I'm going to strip off just a little bit, about an eighth of an inch is really sufficient. And then this part is very important. I'm going to actually tin both of these wires. Take my, my pencil tip iron, make sure it's clean, Melt a little bit of solder on it. Heat up the conductor. And flow a little bit of solder into it. Just to stick all the strands together. This is called tinning. I'm going to do a similar approach here on the shield, except that I'm going to heat it, and I want to try to keep all the solder right here on the end of this braid. So I'm going to feed some solder in fairly fast. What I want to end up with is a little 
ball of solder on the end of a braid that stays flexible. Now when I take these two I'm going to butt them up together and then I'm going to reflow the solder that's on the braid and just kind of pull it with the heat over onto my 22 gauge wire sticking the two together. Now this is a nice and strong connection. But just as importantly it's smooth. By using just enough heat that the solder really balls up around it and doesn't leave any little sharp spikes. If it leaves any spikes, be sure to cut them off. But this is smooth so it will not cut into my center conductors when I lay this alongside of it. I can now lay this alongside, cover the whole thing with one piece of heat shrink, and shrink it down and I'll have a nice compact solder pigtail. I can prep this to put it into a plug. I can terminate it with ring terminals or whatever is required. That's the method we use here at Aerotronics.